Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Red Bull Response. Today on Response, G2's fourth signing artist will answer your questions to help you become a better player. Artists, how are we doing? I'm doing good, you know what I mean? I'm ready, slept well, feeling very good. Hopefully, there's some good questions from the fans. So, artists, how does it feel to be a member of G2, and what do you want to achieve? To join G2 was big for me. It's probably the biggest thing in my career, and it just feels very good. I feel like we, can have, we have a high peak of the team, and we can go far, I think, and make G2 proud, hopefully. So, circling back to you and your role on G2, what would you say that is? Uh, my role in the G2 is just to do what everyone else doesn't want to do. So I fill in the roles, I fill in the gaps. If someone doesn't want to play on the site, I go there. If someone doesn't want to play the orb, I, like if Mixel doesn't feel the orb, I'll just take the orb off him for a round or two. So we asked the community, who is the best agent to snipe with? Who would you say? Like the most aggressive agents by far is Jet, I think. I don't think anyone's even close, uh, to be honest. And you think it's Jet based on mobility? Is that really Yeah, the, mobility is the biggest one because literally no other agent in the game has the mobility she has. She can get away, she can like, she can smoke herself, dash away, she can do anything she wants. Like the mobility on Jet is just second to none on, on any agent in the game. But is there any other agent you feel is viable with the sniper? Yeah, for me, I think Omen is quite good. You can do stuff like just catch people off surprise. So you can maybe come mid, teleport right sides, like you peek with the other side, because everyone expects you to like face here. Again, same for A, on the attack, you can just run, take up TP across. Everyone expects you, you know, to jump on this box. You can just literally take this angle. Like on C, you can't hear the teleport. This is the obvious angle where you're going to be. So if you're Omen and the other team doesn't hear you and you're on the other side, the element of surprise, you have the advantage. Like all of a sudden from coming to CT angle, it comes a T angle. So there's a, there's a few things you can do with Omen. How do you rotate into B in case there, there was a fake? The attack is actually happening on B. How do you move? So a lot of teams do do that. A lot of teams love to go B because it's so easy to take, but it's also so easy to hold, uh, so hard to hold. So for me, if I'm really taking B, I'd love to like see the angle, hold the angle, see if I can get a pick. But most of the time, good teams will know, like, will try to counter this. So what I do, I just save. I, I hold an angle. If they don't face me, I'm running away. You know, what I mean? I'm saving the orb, I'm saving the 5K, and I'm saving my armor. But it's all it always matters on the team and the opponent of uh, how good they are. Now, obviously, you just showed us Omen on B. We know Jet has updraft ability to get up, get up on the, the bomb box. Is there any other character, any other agent that you think is uh, specifically good for holding uh, B? I feel like there's so many agents that can uh, play B good. Because at the moment, there's only one choke point in, or one main choke point. But as Cypher, you can put traps around the site, like put like weird traps off on like weird angles that you know you just know, like no one really expects. Obviously, this is free. This is one too many, but. You can put weird angles where they come in, and when, they, when, when they're caged, you can literally just get a free kill again. Again, with cameras, as you like. <laughs> you like a few bug cameras, but you can put a few cameras on site as well. And you can just literally just hold for them to come in. When, and when you see them come in on the radar, you tag them, and you just spam them again through the cage. Like, most of the time, you're gonna get free kills by not even seeing the, uh, seeing the enemy. All right, so now we're gonna jump over to the questions from Twitter. Coach Jay, who's asking, what's the bind arrow you're all about? Do you have any specific arrows on bind that are good that you wanna tell the people uh, about? On bind, I have a few that I like to use. Um, this is a very easy one. So you see the left and right click mouse button. You line up the edge with the, with the, with the, where this rope ends. So where this rope ends, you line up the left side of the top edge box and two bars of power and the, and you see where it lands, it lands right there. So it gets all of the information here, here. Um, another one I like to use, it's, it's simple, but very effective. Like you run in and through this window because it's normally smoked and this, this arrow always pops off. Always it pops off once. So if the enemy is like aggressive and it's smoked off here, you just get a free kill. There's one on B as well that I really like. So you line yourself up to like these, the, these two boxes. You see where this like the, the arrows are? You just go in the middle to the top, two bars again, and you, it, it covers the whole site. It's very simple, a very simple auto, but it covers all the common spots where you need, you need to clear here, you know, all the back site, this angle, even some of here. It's a very simple auto, but it does the job very well. So for attack, obviously, it's very important to have the arrows with your pushes, but for defense side, uh, do you use the arrows early? Do you want to save them with a little bit, or what's your take on that? Yeah, sometimes I like to use the arrows early, so you can get a lot of information. Um, 
on TCT side, I always do the shadow start of the round. This gets the information of all of this, all of this information. And if they don't shoot the arrow, that normally indicates the heavy A. You can also push off this as well. So if you know they haven't shot this arrow, you can literally just push. Honestly, you win a, a lot of rounds of Valence by just a simple drone. Like a simple drone, and you clear a lot of information without, without any risk, really. This week on Pro Tip, we have Artis. Artis, what is one tip you would like to share with the viewers at home? One of the best tips I can give is to prioritize abilities over guns. So why, why, why do you say that? What is the advantage? Having more abilities lets you do more things in the map, lets you peek more corners. So the breach, having three flashes, being able to flash mid and just, that's a bad flash. <laughs> but being able to just flash mid and just take a, take a fight that you want, you, Imagine they're full white. Imagine they're standing there, they're full white. Doesn't matter what gun you have, they, you're gonna kill them because they can't see you. So it's always better to have abilities that complement you. So even for breach, you can clear angles and just wait for them to run in. Having more abilities just makes you more impactful to your team and gets you more for kills, I feel like. Uh, everybody at home, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for checking out the show. Really hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you guys in the next one later.